Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to be talking about updates Prodigy should add in 2024, so let's get into the video. Alright, so the first update I think Prodigy should add is making the dual stadium better. Really, all you can do in it right now is just do battles. There's not even an area that you can go into. But of course, this still is in beta, so it could still get an update, because uh, the point of a beta is to get feedback on it. But, what I think Prodigy should add to the dual stadium is to make it an arena. Um, like, make it a month-long season instead of the four-month-long seasons that Prodigy had for the previous arena. The reason Prodigy got rid of the old arena was because that not enough people were playing it, but that's because no one was playing in the final three to two, two to three months that it was out. So, if they gave people a reason to actually come back and keep playing the arena, then it wouldn't be a waste of space on the map. What they could do for this is just make it like the old arena, but with less points, since Prodigy thinks that you have- or it's gonna take four months to get 4,500 points. Or every month they could just like add new rewards to a shop and you could get currency from doing battles or something. The next thing, thing I think Prodigy should add is a new area that uh, players that have already completed the game can go to. Maybe like a physical area or like a physical island so that you can get a physical relic or maybe... A neutral island so that you can get a healing relic or something. And this would also give players something to do after they've completed the game since there's not really a lot to do after you complete the game except for Crystal Caverns. I also think Prodigy should update the treasure tracks so that they are releasing new items when the treasure track comes out along with some previously unobtainable items. Maybe make the snow ermine obtainable through this since no one has a way to get it. Prodigy should also just make all of the buddies HD at one time instead of slowly making one or two updated every week, cause that's a little weird. Every other item was, or pretty much every other uh, set of stuff, like every hat was updated at the same time, every uh, outfit, every boot. All of those were updated at the same time, they were updated to HD, but the buddies just have been updated slowly. Along with the pets, the pets also haven't really been getting updated to HD unless uh, they have an ultimate membership variant. The next thing I think Prodigy should add is um, the pet customization update cause that has not come out and it's been a really long time since we first got confirmation that it was coming out. I think for this that they should make it so that you can get them from a chest after a battle. That would give people a real reason to do battles cause there's not really any reason to do battles after you complete the whole game. And this would give people more stuff to do in the end game. Along with the pet customization update also give the ability for pets to wear armor, like how your wizard wears armor, and then this could give them maybe um, a stat boost in battles, which would add more strategy to battles. And the next thing I think Prodigy needs to do is add Starlight Festival. It's been like four, four or five years maybe, I don't know. While we're on the topic of festivals, let's also talk about boss battles for festivals. We got one for Pumpkin Fest, we didn't get one for Winter Fest, but I think that they should add more bosses like for Spring Fest and um, Starlight Festival if they do that, and also uh, Summer Fest. Although there is already Apple Pot for Summerfest, so I guess that sort of is a boss. And also for festivals, we don't want Prodigy to uh, re-release items for all the festivals like they did this year for Winterfest. We got the Snow Spider, the like Winterfest 
whites or whatever they were called. And then, for some reason in the CDM, they show what the rewards are going to be for 2025, and those rewards aren't good either. Here they are. All of them have already been released. We don't want Tortice again. Tortice is already catchable in the wild. There is no reason for us to have to, or for us to do like, I think, 60 battles. Maybe it was more like 50 battles, but no one wants to do that when you can just go into Shiver Chill and get one in like 10 minutes. So Prodigy needs to add new rewards instead of just reusing old ones. The next thing I think Prodigy should do is re-add the towers. Pretty much everyone would agree with this. But if they do add the towers, they need to release every single one at once so that we don't have to wait. No one wants that. There is evidence that we could be getting the Storm Tower soon, like the NPC and the tile set, which is basically just the background like you would see in Firefly Forest. We've also seen the chair, so we could be seeing the fest- er, the- not the festivals. Could be seeing the towers in the future, and if they aren't coming back because they redid the story and stuff, so now Florian is in, uh, Firefly Forest, then they just need to get rid of the towers altogether, so that we don't- or so that we can know if we shouldn't be waiting for the towers to come back. The next thing Prodigy should add is the wizard dances, because those haven't been in the game for a while. We already have three, we don't have these two, which is a little annoying. But we can do this, we can do this, and we can dab. So the next thing I think Prodigy should add is new mounts, because right now we only have three. We have the normal cloud, we have the rainbow cloud, and then we have the flower bush mounts. So, I think that they should add some into, like, the shops, maybe as part of how I had said earlier that they need to add more stuff to the treasure track. They could add some mounts to that one, because a lot of people do want mounts. And maybe these ones could be non-member, because I'm pretty sure right now, two out of the three are member. It doesn't really matter, because you can't get any of them right now. So yeah, it would be a good idea to make it so that there are more mounts in the game. This next one isn't like a very big update, but I would like to see Prodigy bring back the animated icon for down here you'll see it in a second it will light up so yeah like that at one point it did show vega bloom one vega bloom was available i think prodigy should make it so that um whenever or like whatever mythical epic is out they should have uh the uh animated icon for that mythical epic and then the final thing I think Prodigy should do is make it so that the players can have somewhat of a say in what updates Prodigy works on. They could do this by like making an in-game poll like how they would with, uh, what's his name? Survey. Um, they could like have him a ask questions or like to ask which one of these updates you'd want to see without giving away too much about the update because then the players would have a say in what they want to see in the game and that would make people probably more happy with the updates that th we're getting. But yeah, that is going to go ahead and end up the video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know what you want to see added in 2024 and bye.